The Roma have suffered discrimination since they arrived in Europe centuries ago, and they still face challenges today. Sometimes they even have to hide their ethnicity to get a job. We discovered that participants in one survey conducted in Hungary had to choose between declaring themselves as either Hungarian or Roma. They couldn't be both. The Commission has made significant progress in setting out EU policy initiatives to promote Roma integration. And all the EU member states have developed national Roma integration strategies. But there are still a number of shortcomings. The level of funding needed, the lack of attention to anti-discrimination and the need for more active participation by the Roma themselves. We have made a series of recommendations which will require additional efforts by both the Commission and the Member States. I would highlight just two of them. First, the Member States should ensure that money from the European Social Fund can be used for social inclusion whether or not there is a link to employment. Legal uncertainty on this matters very much for Roma integration. Second, the Commission and the Member States should develop a common methodology for the ethnicity data used to monitor social inclusion. And they should do it without delay. This is crucial. Because of poor data, we don't know how many Roma may need support and we don't know how much and what kind of support they may need. None of this is going to happen overnight. Even if all the obstacles and dilemmas we have mentioned are removed, the improvements will still take two or three generations to work through.